Murray finds Jokic into the corner. Extra feed. Murray's three is good and much needed. Murray and Jokic combined with four-point game. 340 to go. Here's Irving. Stops, dishes. Doncic gets bumped and will shoot a pair. Denver was on an 11-2 run before that foul called. As Doncic hits the... And just here, he takes his time. He's moving in slow motion. He feels the contact, and then that's when he rises up. Once that forearm is on the body, it draws the foul. It, it's so hard to guard because he's a big physical player, so you want to use his body. And when he gets into your paint, but also what you're discrediting is how smart he is. The minute he feels that contact, that's when he pulls up. Ooh, Jokic and Porter tumble into each other, and a foul is called on Maxi Kleba. It took a while for the whistle to come, but a foul is called on Kleba. Let's see. So Kleba gets called for the fouls. He pushed down Jokic. Jokic now off the inbound, feeds Porter in the paint. Dallas does not have a challenge left after an unsuccessful one a few possessions ago. Caldwell pulled mid-range. Jumper is good. About 10. That the Denver Nuggets are not going to, they're not going to falter. They're not going to, I don't necessarily want to say quit, but they've been in this position. This is what a champion does. A champion's okay, it's 10 minutes, 10 points, six minutes ago, let's walk them down. And that's what the Denver Nuggets. Aaron Gordon, Denver had one to give. 3.01 to go. And a whistle here. And Jason Kidd's gonna take his time out. He had one second, a fun game. Dallas, a 101, 98 lead on Denver. Nuggets on the 13-3 run. Dallas had a 13-point lead with 8.36 to go in this fourth. Kleba airmails it out of bounds. Denver ball. Kleba, that's a good shot. I, I, I think everyone on the Mavericks are okay, but he's got to be ready to shoot that shot. He's got to look and expect it. He's about 36% in his career from three, but just 31% this season. Jokic backing him down, nearly threw it away. Porter off the tap, two to shoot. Caldwell Pope tried an extra pass. They didn't have time and a shot clock violation as Denver turned. They're planning on making a push to the postseason and a playoff run. And Dallas has the best clutch time record in the NBA at 18 and eight. Denver third best at 23 and 11. Here's Irving. Irving zips to the free throw line. Can't float it in, and then Jokic gets fouled by Gafford. Fifth foul on Gafford. I mean, <laughs> yeah, Jokic is. I've seen a lot of shots in my day. I don't think I've ever seen one like that. No. Two minutes to go. Murray off the handoff. Murray slides around Kleba with the left hand. Too pretty. And your game to have a mirror image. Jamal Murray with a great finish to the left hand. Murray up to 20 points and a whistle here on a kick is going to keep things with Dallas. We saw him do it to his right hand. Now here, going slow, that little D cell step. Again, high off the glass. Crossover, and that's good defense by Kleba. But look at this, left hand wow. above the square. That skill, touch, work, all of those things combined. 130 to go, Dallas by one. Doncic spinning on Murray, leans in. Can't bank it home, but got the whistle. Same thing, he walks into this and then the quick spin. So he walks him down, and then Jamal Murray making that mistake, getting up in the air. But you understand that mistake, because Luka creates such distance that you want to contest. Hey. Doncic misses the first. Probably is a good free throw shooter too with how clutch he is. He's pretty accurate. Yeah. He's a pretty accurate guy. Doncic hits the second. For hole. Murray. With Doncic on him. The screen from Jokic. Here's Jokic. Backing down Doncic. Jokic methodically ties the game off the window. And you see they're going at Luka. They get him to come up in the pick and roll and then on the switch. So they are targeting Luka in these late game defensive moments. That lethal Murray-Jokic two-man action. 
Under a minute to go. Doncic in a tie game. Doncic working Murray, fading away. No. Rebound knocked out of bounds by Kleba. Denver ball with a chance to take the lead. And then have time for another possession. But Murray taking his time. Here's Murray. 30 seconds to go. Murray a three. You pick! The blue arrow delivers! Same play. Same everything. Same pick and roll. Get Luca up, but this time he stops back. You have to step up on that screen or Jamal Murray will make you pay. Trailed by 13 with 8.35 to go. They've been on a 20 to 4 run since. Doncic to tie. He got it! Tie game! 105 all! The slightest of differences game and shot clock. Pressure from Dallas. You don't have to foul here. That's what Jason Kidd has screamed. Don't foul, no fouls. <laughs> And Denver can hold for a final look here. Seven seconds left. Murray, the pull up, back iron, no. Rebound Hardaway, timeout Dallas. Murray took it a little too early, and now Dallas has a chance to win it. I'm okay with two seconds, something along those lines, because you give your own team an opportunity for an offensive rebound. Maybe still a little too early. You don't want to go until eight, so you want to be shooting it at two or three, a chance for a tip. But then here, Luca, that is too much distance on the best scorer on the planet Earth. He even has to come out and catch that ball. Aaron Gordon just way too late. He had all the space in the world there. But on that, cause some confusion. Kleba to inbound. Kleba looking in for Irving. Irving for the win! Oh, my! A southpaw finish from Kyrie Irving! Just absurd! Unforgettable ingenuity from Kyrie Irving. A left-handed floater for the win. Official confirms a ruling on the floor. Good basket. The game is over. And here we talked about the misdirection, but I said earlier in the game, you get Kyrie on that right side of the floor and just the left hand. Low finish. That is one of the nastiest games I have seen in a while. And to have that type of finish from Kyrie Irving. And as a former teammate, let me tell you, as soon as he released it, I have seen him make shots like that. Not a magnitude for a game winner, but man, what a shot. That is historically ridiculous. A left-handed running floater at the buzzer. Luca in disbelief at how incredible that finish was from Kyrie Irving. Luca thought in the beater from Kyrie Irving, the second of his career, left-handed. That is when we talk about Kyrie being one of the great finishers of all time. That because means anywhere he gets in that area, he can shoot with either hand. And Luca is in dis. We were in disbelief. I mean, Richard, that's not a that's not a five footer. That's a 20 footer he just took with his left hand. Oh, I'm very aware. It is unbelievable. I I've seen Kyrie do a lot of things, and that to me is chaotic. It is impressive, <laughs> but that is skill. That is the amount of work that he puts in daily. But a left-hand finish from that distance because that was the only shot he had. That was the only shot he had. It's ABC World News tonight or local news except on the West Coast. For our producer, Rodney Vaughn, our director, Jeff Evers, Cassidy Hubbard, Richard Jefferson, and our entire crew, I'm Ryan Rucco. Thank you for watching the NBA on ABC, home of the NBA Finals. What a shot.